Hi everyone, my name is Rupert Goff. I'm the founder and CEO of The Mortgage Lab. This is the May 2021 update. A few changes this month with interest rates. ASB were the first bank to drop their one year rate now at 2.25, down from 2.29% for one year. But at the same time, they did raise the five year interest rate from 2.99 to 3.39. Now, let's be clear about what the one year rate does for your payments. A four basis point drop or 2.29 to 2.25 means about 80 cents per week per 100 grand that you owe. That means for a $500,000 mortgage, about $4 per week difference. So it's not major, but it is a good indication that interest rates are still heading down, even if it is a bit slow. On the other hand, the five year rate going up by 0.4% will actually have quite a change to your mortgage, but not many people are taking that rate at the moment because of those tempting one and two year rates, which are much lower. If you're watching this on YouTube or social media, comment below where you think the one year rate will be in about three months time. I'm keen to hear whether people think the rate will be down or up or about the same. In terms of those government changes that were announced in March, we've yet to see a real impact of that on the market. Investors are anecdotally cooling off because they're waiting to see what happens with the definition of a new build. So they're waiting to see what the government will announce as we approach October 2021. We're going to hear more about that. But what is a new build? When is a new build defined? And how long is it tax exempt? Is it tax exempt forever? or just for a few years. That will remain to be seen. Of course, with new builds and the new LVR restrictions from the Reserve Bank, new builds are exempt from the LVR restrictions. So first home buyers and investors are looking at those because they can borrow more on them. First home buyers can borrow over 80% on those new builds without a restriction from the banks and investors can borrow over 60% on new builds without restriction from the banks. Now when I say no restrictions, technically the banks can lend whatever they like to new builds. However, not all banks are doing that at the moment, not because the Reserve Bank won't allow it, but because they don't have the capacity to meet those applications. They are so busy at the moment, they are so under the pump with that new applications that they're actually restricting their policy just to stem the flow of applications. Now this changes week by week, so keep an eye on the banks, talk to your mortgage broker about what's happening, but don't be surprised if a bank declines an application just because they don't have the capacity to look at it. We are however seeing a few banks loosen up on the low deposit first home buyers. That means the less than 20% deposit first home buyers. Some banks are actually starting to approve clients that aren't their main bank customers. In other words, they don't bank with Bank A, but Bank A is now looking at them if they've got less than 20% deposit. And that's quite new even over the past year to year and a half. There has been a limited amount of money that banks can give out, so they've prioritized their own clients. Banks are starting to look at clients that don't actually bank with them. And that's a good sign for first home buyers. It gives them more options. Clients can go to the bank that has the best policy, not just their own bank. If you'd like to know more, don't forget to hit subscribe on our channel and also talk to your advisor with any questions you've got. Thanks for watching. Cheers.